Second game of our series against the Corpus Christi Hooks, and we're joined by Riders starting pitcher Kyle Lotzgar. Kyle, it's been a little bit of an uneven start to the season for you in terms of the workload, but now you're you're seemingly in that starting rotation. You're getting a regular routine down. How big is that for you to move forward here? Well, the routine part of it's huge. Um, I think you know I've kind of switched from the bullpen to the rotation a little bit, and uh, which is fine. I like I like doing both, but. Uh, I think just from a standpoint, like a preparation standpoint, and you know, trying to, you know, my goal is to stay healthy. I think that the routine part of it, and kind of knowing knowing when I'm going to pitch, is is a big part of it. So I think, you know, now that I'm in that five back in the five day rotation, I think uh, I'd be a little better prepared. You had spent your entire professional career with the Reds, uh, going back to 2007, prior to this season. What's the transition been like going to a new organization and the Rangers been for you? It's been really good. The Rangers have been a good fit for me. Um, I think uh, I think the reason that the Rangers, well, there's a couple of reasons, but one of the, re- the reasons the Rangers signed me and, and they've signed other guys um, that have had like injury histories in their past and they haven't really shied away from that. And uh, I'm pretty, uh, pretty appreciative of uh, them signing me and taking a chance on me and, you know, hopefully I can prove that, you know, I can stay healthy for, you know, an entire season and, you know, that that's that's basically my number one goal and then you know I think after that everything will kind of sort itself out. Did you feel like it was a good time for you to get a fresh start you'd run into so many injuries in in Cincinnati and you know it wasn't necessarily their fault at all but uh, just to be in a new organization new people looking at you new people taking care of you was that fresh start needed? Yeah I think so um you know I'm I, I, you know, I have no bad things to say about the Reds, and they gave me plenty of opportunities to make it to the big leagues. You know, like they, they drafted me and they they put me on the 40-man roster and they sent me to big league camp two times and stuff like that. I just, you know, couldn't stay healthy. So I think a fresh start was a big part of it. And uh, you know, I think I really like I get along with the, a lot of the staff and the players here as well. So it's it's been a it's been a refreshing change. What was the process like for you signing? Because you signed relatively early into the offseason. I think it was October when you signed on with Texas. Was there a lot of interest from other organizations, or was it Texas just right away expressed interest and you wanted to get that taken care of? Yeah, it was kind of an interesting thing when I, you know, after I, I got released. Um, you know, the Reds said that they were interested in signing me back, uh, but I didn't really hear back from them. Um, and the Rangers were the first ones to talk to me in the offseason. And uh, you know they, they made me a, a really fair offer, and and but the, the first thing I the first thing I heard from the Rangers was them calling the pitching coach that I work with back at home, so they were trying to do some like investigating as to what kind of person I was and um, trying to do some digging you know about you know my work ethic and all sorts of you know my character and my makeup and stuff like that, which was pretty, I found I thought it was I was pretty impressed with that and I'd never really heard of that too often, so I was you know. That was kind of cool, and and you know my pitching coach, you know who I trust quite a bit, or the pitch, pitching coach that I work with back at home, um, you know was was really impressed with what he heard from uh, the scout that he talked to. So you know that was, that was a big part, played a big part in me signing here. We're here with Rough Riders pitcher Kyle Lotzgar. I guess the big question at this point in the season is, how do you feel physically? Really good. Yeah, feel strong and healthy, and you know I don't think I've felt this healthy in a long time. So. Was there anything you could point to in your time with the Reds uh, as to why you were as injury prone as you were? Is it just completely random? No, I don't think it's random. A lot of it was was my fault. I think, um, you know, I think uh, I think I, was, I probably would have been, in, you know, a good uh, would have would have been a better choice for me to go to college and figure out, you know, how to have you know because I was, I was kind of on my own I, I signed when I was 17 and it's just like you're, you're playing with grown men you know 23 24 year olds I didn't really quite you know I, I was a little bit immature and I didn't quite figure out the whole routine thing and how to and getting treatment and, and I didn't tell anyone when I was hurting and stuff like that so just Im- immature in that sense so I think you know now that I look back on it, I, I might have been a, a good candidate to go to go to college for a few years and spend a few years there I would have figured out how to you know, take care of my body a little bit better and stuff like that, and I would have had that, that so you teaching. Did, you didn't necessarily feel like there was a black cloud hanging over your head. It was just every time you'd start a new season, you'd find some way to end up on the disabled list. It was something that you felt like it was something you had some control over and just hadn't been able to master that part. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, it's it's kind of an interesting thing with injuries, and I've I've learned it. You know, it took me a while to figure it out, but it's like 
um, you know, one injury inevitably leads to, to another. And especially with when you have surgeries, um, a lot of the time the surgery fixes one problem, but it causes a whole bunch of other different problems. You just you start compensating, and scar tissue builds up because it's such, surgery is such like an intrusive process, right? And so you, you know, when when you start compensating and stuff like that. Um, you, so someone else is in, in the chain is bound to break down, and that's that's what happened with me. It started started in the elbow, worked its way up to the shoulder, and I started compensating for the shoulder and worked its way into my hips. So that's kind of how how it all happened. So what is the what have the Rangers organization done to kind of map out something for you? Are there specific steps that that you and the team are taking to make sure that you don't run into any other injuries down the line? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, when I first came to spring training, we, we just we talked about it. They asked me about what my program was and if I had a routine and what it was. We went over it. You know, I went over with the, with the strength staff and the um, you know the rehab staff and the training staff. And uh, you know, I told them what my what my issues were and uh, I told them what my routine was. And they kind of added some things to the routine. And you know, Eric has 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 printed out a you know like a, a lifting routine and a recovery routine and stuff like that so it's just it's just you know big big routine stuff so how do you think your pitch repertoire has changed over the years as a result of recovering from some of these injuries and trying to make sure that it's uh, not you know the way you throw or certain pitches that you throw that would lead you to be more susceptible to developing further injuries down the line right um I don't think it was like certain pitches so much as the way I was throwing, like my mechanics. So I, I, I had to change the way I threw specific, you know, specifically to so my arm action, um, which, which I talked to, you know, with the Reds and a bunch of other people told me that, you know, like the way I was throwing was, was putting me in, in jeopardy, you know, of getting injured, putting me at risk. So I, you know, in the off season, I did a lot of drills and stuff to. To correct that, I think my repertoire is pretty much the same. The only difference now is I throw a lot of a lot of two seams. The reason I started doing that is because I went to a futures game in 2012, and you know everyone was there throwing 100, and the, the game ended up being like 17 to 12. And you know, I, the one thing I noticed from that was you know like all those guys were throwing 100, but they're throwing straight. So it's like at the end of the, at, the, at the end of the day, the elite level hitters are gonna they can time rocket ship. You know, it's they'll time anything. So you need to have something that's going to miss the barrel a little bit. And that's, that's why I ended up throwing the two seam. Finally, you're not exactly from a tropical climate. You're from British Columbia. I know you've played in Bakersfield. You've played in Pensacola, a couple of warm places. You ready for the Texas heat that's coming? Uh, maybe as soon as tomorrow. It's going to be about 93 when you take the mound. I don't know if I'm ready. I hope so. I mean, I've yeah, I played in the Gulf Coast League for a summer. I played in the Arizona um, summer league, or, you know, whatever it's called there, the Arizona Rookie League. Um, so those are both pretty hot, but I've heard, you know, like the Texas heat is a little different. Um, so I guess we'll see. We'll see exactly. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully you don't disintegrate out there. Hey, uh, you've looked great here the first few starts, and we hope to see it continue. And uh, most importantly, we hope you stay healthy. Thanks so much for the time. Yeah, thank you. That's Kyle Lotzkar. We're back right after this here on the Frisco Rough Riders Baseball Network.